While dozens of industries in the UAE and the GCC region have adopted innovative technologies as part of their digitalization strategies to capture data and improve productivity on job sites, the construction, surveying, and real estate sectors in the region have taken a leading role in the adoption of drone technology. From project managers, general managers, and construction superintendents on site to C-suite executives in government agencies and private construction firms, drone technology is gradually becoming part of the job role. I'm Anup Oman, the deputy editor of Construction Week Middle East, and welcome to another episode of Construction Week's expert interview series. Today, we're joined by Rabi Burashid, the chief executive officer of Falcon Eye Drone Services, who will be talking to us about the impact of drones on improving cost and time efficiencies, sustainability standards, and reducing the safety risks on construction sites while increasing productivity. To start off, thank you, Rabi, for joining us on the show today. Thank you very much for having me. It's a pleasure to have you here with us. Rabi, a number of key construction mega projects and giga projects in the UAE, Saudi Arabia, and across the GCC countries are attempting to create destinations while preserving the natural wildlife, flora, fauna, and marine ecosystems. Could you share briefly how the use of drones is raising the sustainability standards with lesser boats on the ground, while also increasing efficiencies compared to the traditional mapping and surveying methods? Yeah, sure. Um, it really boils down to the number of equipment and the number of people on, on, on any sites. Just to give an example, a 10 kilometer square site is going to take, um, let's say, four vehicles, heavy vehicles, uh, man with at least three uh, individuals that, uh, with survey equipment. And these guys need to spend a month or two, depending on the density of the data we collect, to produce maps. So when you enter a drone, it becomes a one man, a one drone system, uh, a two man team, and just one vehicle to do the same amount of work. Um, so only in that sense, and that's a very small example, that you could reduce uh, the carbon footprint of a huge site. Um, you can multiply this by many factors when you start involving you know, the, the construction monitoring phases uh, by reducing the amount of uh, other equipment you're using. And on top of it all, drones themselves can be used to help offset. Uh, so you can equip the drones with, with sensors to monitor what's going on around the site, what kind of dumping is happening. You can use the drones to measure these uh, dump sites and see what the impact you're doing. Um, if you're close to a um, seashore, you can use multispectral sensors to actually inspect um, underwater, not not very deep, but in shallow water, you can inspect what, uh, and map the, uh, the sea life and see what impact you're doing to the water. So there's many factors that a drone can help in. But the hugest one is obviously the reduction in the number of machinery and human that you would need to do the same job. Okay. We've also noticed that some of the most prevalent issues that have plagued the construction industry over a decade from now are delayed deliveries, liquidity concerns, and cost overruns. Could you comment on how the use of drones can offer contractors and construction stakeholders a more cost-effective and time-saving alternative? Could you also share a few examples probably of how FEDS has helped constructors of the new Abu Dhabi solar plant in keeping the project on schedule and within budget? Yeah, sure. So, so most of the problem or the biggest problem that uh, the construction face is, is involved around reworks. Uh, mistakes are happening and they have to demolish and rebuild again. This is where the biggest issues uh, comes in or where we see them come in. Um, in general, everything's planned uh, properly. You know exactly how much it's gonna take to build. Uh, you know the time, you know the cost, but it's mistakes and accidents that we don't account for that really brings uh, the cost high and the delivery timing to be delayed. So when you enter drone into a construction project, Drone gives you the ability to monitor this project on a day-to-day -day basis, if you choose so, or on a weekly basis, or on a monthly basis, but at least it gives you that extra visibility that allows you to see what's going on early on. It's a point of view that was almost impossible in the past, or it's too expensive, to constantly monitor a large site um, 
with you know up-to-date data as built data and compare it to your blueprints and see where you're doing mistakes stopping them early before you know it becomes really costly this is among other things the biggest way or the biggest we've seen construction companies uh you know cutting their costs and delivering on time and even when mistakes are not happening this this footage is stored digitally in in their in their databases where they can review and find ways to improve their, their um, procedure in the future. So let's assume everything went to plan, but when you have so much data, data that is rich, data that is in 3D, data that you can measure, data that you can compare, then it gives them ways to improve their procedure in the future and you know, speed up things. The project we monitored in uh, Noor Abu Dhabi, basically. So on that one, uh, they, they, start, they, they did their whole planning without drones in mind. Um, that's a fairly old project about three or four years ago. So um, at the time, the EPC company did not involve drones in their planning, but they got to a point where they had to. And when we came in, we replaced a lot of their standards. So we, we, we replaced uh, the laser scanning, which could be expensive, and the manned um, land surveys, which could be too lengthy. And, you know, depending who you asked, we, we, they delivered about six months ahead of schedule in terms of the parts that drones were involved on. So it was meant to finish in December and they, they were ready, you know, middle of the year. Which is quite impressive, Rabi, given the current circumstances the world is dealing with, we also see a much greater focus that has been placed on precautionary measures taken to enhance the health and safety of construction workers on site and prevent lost time incidents such as uh, caused by shallow excavations or unstable structures, equipment placements and more. Could you share insights on how the use of drones is making construction sites safer in terms of reducing safety risks and increasing productivity as well? With regular monitoring, you're detecting all these issues earlier. So if you have um, any shallow excavations or unsafe structure or, or you know, warning signs are not being established, these are detected early uh, because you have this daily monitoring, because you don't rely on the site manager or the security manager to do his rounds. Uh, these things are updated. Also, when a drone is flying, it's, um, we can equip these drones with video analytics. So people that are not wearing their helmets, people that are wearing their belts, their masks, whatever it is a kit they have to wear, uh, we can AI the, the footage and automatically extract and send to the, let's say, the security station saying, or the health and safety officer saying, you know, there is irregularities on the site. Somebody's not wearing their helmet, which obviously reduces, uh, reduces accidents. And you spoke about data, the collating of data. The construction industry is slowly beginning to collate the right digital data using IoT and segregate this data, analyze this data using machine learning and AI, and attempt to create actionable implementation plans based on predictive data analysis. What role do you think drones play in making construction smart, as they say? Could you share a few examples of how data has been collated and over a period of time has made construction sites better? Yeah, I mean, by definition, the drone itself is, is an IoT, is one of the devices uh, that you would rely on when you're doing a construction. So especially in recent years with the implementation of BIM, uh, you, you always lacked the third layer, which is the top layer, which is only can be provided by a drone. Um, so your BIM, you have your laser scanning on the ground that are growing with you, and you are calculating everything around the site, which is uh, almost a mandatory thing now in construction sites. Um, so drones will add that top layer, that as-built view, that will allow you to see uh, uh, these construction sites uh, on as built on the day they were built. Uh, and all this data could be integrated directly with any of the construction software that the companies are used to. And like I said, it takes it a step further by collecting these data in multiple ways. So you can collect it in infrared, in, you know, like uh, even if it's completely dark, we can still inspect that. Um, and by collecting it in RGB, which is, you know, the, the red, green, blue, which is every camera. And then combine this imagery to produce a digital twin to facilitate the inspection from the safety of that engineer's office rather than you know, risking his life. So it's, um, it's like a triple benefit here between health and safety, between better data, between digital twin, between uh, all of the above. That's quite insightful. It was great talking to you and learning from you, Rabi. 
Thanks for taking the time to share your insights with us today. It was great having you on the show. Thank you very much. It was a pleasure and happy to be here. The pleasure is all ours, Rabi. For those of you watching, feel free to like, comment, share, and subscribe for more such videos with experts in the industry. That's all for now. And until next time, goodbye.